Hmm, he just gave four. Okay. 什么是心腹？有的人认为工资高，能赚钱就是心腹。就一定能发现他 ，so easy. Give me something harder. All right, let's go. Let's see. What? This card oh, this doesn't make any sense. What? What? Ah, screw this. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Ah, 这是我的弟弟乔治。Hey, my name is Andre Jiangjian. Today marks one year since I moved to China, and the point of this video is I thought I'd share my experience so far with learning Chinese. Honestly, it feels like it will take forever to learn this language to fluency. There's a reason why people say it's the most difficult language on the planet, especially if your native language is English, since English and Chinese have nothing in common. There are times when I want to give up because this language is too complicated and it just doesn't make sense to me sometimes. I did some research, and experts say learning Chinese to fluency would require. Approximately 2,400 hours. So, if you studied one hour per day, you would be fluent after six to seven years, which is exceptionally high compared to other languages. The tricky part of Chinese is the pronunciation. So many characters have the same pinyin, but are differentiated by their tone, like ma, ma, ma. Ma, I know that's weird, right? The other tricky part is using aspect instead of tenses. Chinese doesn't have tenses. In fact, words only have one grammatical form. So grammatical functions are expressed through word order rather than by suffixes attached to the nouns and verbs. These things are challenging, challenging to get used to as a native English speaker. So last year, when I knew I would move to China to be an English teacher, I decided to use my free time to learn Chinese to fluency. In the beginning, I was pretty motivated to learn Chinese because it was such an incredible feeling when people see a white guy speaking Chinese. I know it's strange, but it motivated me. However, over time, my level of mo motivation went up and down, mostly when it becomes overwhelming and feels impossible. But during these times, I try to think about the Benefits of speaking Chinese fluently, what this could have in my life and professional career. So then I keep going. It is important to have a solid motive to push us through those difficult times. When I arrived in China, I knew a handful of phrases and words I had learned on the plane. I was、uh, excited, but soon I realized I was like a helpless child here. The first year was challenging to say the least. However, one year on, things had improved. Not only because I got used to how life works here, but speaking the language even at an Intermediate level is incredibly helpful. Chinese is needed almost all the time. For example, using apps, catching cabs, buying groceries, ordering food, answering the phone. Even though China is super focused on learning English, there is very little information in English on apps, websites, signs, menus, etc. Very few people speak English. Of course, in a big city like Shanghai or Beijing, it is more English oriented. But second tier cities and beyond have virtually no English anywhere, and nobody speaks English. All right. The following things have helped me、um, during my learning Chinese journey. It helps to live in the right environment. My environment is Chinese. It is especially helpful because I live in a third-tier city where very few people can speak English. On the other hand, a big city like Shanghai has people with higher English ability, and more foreigners live there, making it easy to stay in these foreigner circles. You could end up living in Shanghai for years and not speak any Chinese. So it is crucial to seek out the right environment. One of the benefits of learning Chinese is that there are Chinese people worldwide, even in Your city, there is a Chinese community or Chinese restaurants, and Chinese people love to talk to strangers in their own language. 
Stop listening to video or audio in your native language and start listening in Chinese. When I first started learning Chinese, I watched Peppa Pig at home and listened to a Chinese audio course when I was at the gym. If you want to listen to music, then listen to Chinese music. You may not understand much, but it is better than having no input at all. Get Chinese friends or a girlfriend, boyfriend. Since I came to China, I've had a few Chinese girlfriends and I noticed that it's so helpful in language learning. This will work best if your Chinese is at a reasonable level already. Otherwise, you may end up speaking English or not speaking anything if your girlfriend, boyfriend doesn't speak English. Communication is important in relationships. The secret to reading is to read something where you understand more than 95% of the characters. So you need to find suitable reading material for your level. If you just started, then HSK1 reading material is good. Uh, as you progress through the levels, you can find other sources of reading material. For example, I have these books for year one Chinese kids but the level is the same as my Chinese. And when I'm reading, I usually use one of these pens. It's a translator pen. You just scan the Chinese character and it gives you the translation. Very useful when reading. Suppose you break down Chinese into reading, writing, speaking, and listening. So far, I have only focused on speaking, listening, and reading. I don't recommend spending any time writing Chinese characters. I've never had to write anything by hand except for my name while living here. So if you learn to write, learn to write your Chinese name. Because spending too much time on writing is not a very efficient use of your time. Your investment basically has no return. Um, Typing pinyin is not the same as writing Chinese characters. It's way easier to type pinyin and it's something you'll have to do every day here. Um, so focus all your time on speaking, listening and reading. Some of my favorite apps are Pleco, Quizlet, uh, HelloTalk and honestly I watch a lot of Douyin because it helps with my listening and it's also fun. <laughs> Your success will depend entirely on your interest in learning the language. Learning Chinese is super rewarding because nobody expects foreigners to speak Chinese. It is honestly a fantastic feeling to talk to people here in China, learn about their culture and understand them through their own language. I find it extremely rewarding, but if you don't have this interest in learning it, then it can be really difficult. Thanks for watching the video and best of luck. Thank you.